All right. If you were ever given something that was totally unprintable by human standards, um, this video is for you. Usually how it goes is somebody either gives you something and says, hey, can you 3D print this? Or you download it and you find that it's totally not ready to be 3D printed. It goes on and on. But, again, this will help you solve that issue. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is load some keyboard shortcuts under user preferences in Blender. Uh, there's some keyboard shortcuts down below the video or on Thingiverse you're going to find it in the description area. You download this PY file and say open keyboard configuration and then you choose that file and say import key configuration and then you hit save user settings. I also like using emulate number pad on. All right, that's just to line the blender up with my blender, which is kind of derivative of a Maya, ZBrush, Mudbox type of workflow using blender. All right, now uh, we're gonna load that file up, Nurdle. So first thing we're gonna do is click on this box and X on the keyboard to delete it. Then file import still I have them on the desktop and you'll notice straight away that Nurdle is not even in the scene and this happens a lot basically what happens was whoever exported it out of whatever program it didn't center it within the scene okay so here's how you fix that hit N on the keyboard to bring up this menu and then we go like this, Object Transform Origin to Geometry. And then over here, we go 0, 0, 0. That brings them into the center of the scene. And we like to keep them there, so we're going to go to Object Apply Rotation and Scale. Okay. Now, also, I like to shrink them down a little bit. I'm going to shrink them down to about 75 in Z. So click on them. Click R on the keyboard. You can also go down here to this. Allows you to scale. Click on the white circle and start scaling. Now he's going to start scaling really quick. And he might flip upside down. So just keep your finger handy on that mouse. Get him close to about... 75 and then click on it again and then this time hold shift and shift allows you to very very fine adjustments of scale until he reaches 75 about right there so this is in millimeters by the way so 75 millimeters tall we try to keep things within reason of somebody's bed size uh, like a, a 3d printer like the replicator for example has a really wide bed and it can do really tall objects but not everybody has one of those uh, I try to keep a standard of 120 millimeters in both X and Y for the bed for the, the width and the depth and then a hundred millimeters tall and I don't digress from those. That way it's very universal for anybody to print. Before we go on to the next video, um, let me sh share with you the keyboard, key keyboard configuration here. It's Alt left mouse allows you to rotate. Alt middle mouse allows you to pan. And Alt right mouse allows you to zoom in and out. You should also be wary of 1, 3, and 7 on the keyboard and five on the keyboard. I use the number pad, but if you use that um, emulate number pad feature that I showed you earlier, you should be able to use the top row of numbers. This video was just to get Nurdle in the scene and center him up and introduce you to this menu, which I just used location, and the one, three, and seven on the keyboard. Let's move on to the next video.